Good evening. The news is reported by Francis Duana. The president of Liberia, Dr. Willem R. Tobert Jr., has said that the Liberian government is now in control and will defend the security and sovereignty of the state at any cost. He has taught his fellow citizens that there is no need to fear. President Tobert, who was speaking this morning in the cabinet room at the executive mansion, extended thanks to the army, police, and militia men especially Grand Bassa County, who came and offered their services to defend the country. President Toba said the Liberian government was convinced that the violence and destruction of the past weekend was planned and executed by criminal-minded individuals, seditious and treasonable, together with a large number of foreigners, not so much to affect the study of the rights issue, but to destroy the national stability of the Liberian government and overthrow sin. Dr. Torbert assured the citizens of Liberia that the government would deal with those responsible for the demonstration on Saturday and Sunday. Meanwhile, news reports reaching our news desk this afternoon, quoting the Joint F. Kennedy Memorial Hospital, say a total of 29 people have died from the violence demonstration which began on Saturday in Monrovia. 376 persons were reported wounded among those dead are civilians and police officers. The Liberian government has called on the public in general to be calm and not to be afraid, and states that the demonstration is now under control. Normal work will not go on as usual, except between the hours of 6 o'clock in the evening to 6 o'clock in the morning, when everyone is expected to get off the streets. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Richard A. Henrys, upon request of President William R. Tubbard Jr., is hereby calling upon all legislators to shorten their recess and report to the Capitol building on Tuesday, that's tomorrow, at 10 o'clock in the morning, to reconvene a special session. This situation has resulted from the weekend illegal demonstration, which caused great harm and damage to Liberia. Therefore, all members of the House of Representatives are accordingly summoned to be in session at the Capitol on April 17th, Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock. In another move, the Vice President of Liberia and President of the Senate has called on all senators to report to session on Tuesday at 10 o'clock in the morning. 